Well, hello everyone. It is I, Shiki, once again. And we're going to jump right into it. We're talking about Uncle from Another World, or Isekai Oji-san. And this is one of the summer 2022 anime. It oh, totally is not what I expected, okay? So just from the promotional video where it like basically showed nothing other than the, uh, the uncle and his nephew. Uh, I was, damn, I was like caught off guard by like what happened in it. So let's begin by explaining the premise. It is about this kid named Takafumi and his uncle. Takafumi is a, uh, I think college kid who has this uncle who's been asleep for like 17 years after getting hit by a truck, I think, or something like that. And his uncle wakes up and says he's from another world, or came from another world, or came back from another world, I should specify, right? So he was, like, in another world of fantasy and magic and all this. And he speaks this, like, language that no one understands, that everyone thinks is just gibberish and whatnot. And, like, his family wants nothing to do with him, but Takafumi's, like... I'll, I'll take a look and see who my uncle is and all this stuff, right? And so Takafumi's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to like, leave. But then his uncle does magic. Actual magic, by the way. And this gets Takafumi to be like, oh, uh, maybe I'll stick around. And thus begins the... Uh, show of Takafumi and his uncle and their daily lives as his uncle catches up on modern technology and various different things uh, in the real world while also telling Takafumi about his experiences over in the other world. And that's the basic premise. His uncle is a huge Sega nerd, like loves the Sega game consoles and stuff like that. And, like, that's the only thing that got him through his time in the other world was wanting to come back and play more Sega and stuff. It's hilarious. Uh, but, yeah, uh, it ends up with uh, the uncle becoming a YouTuber, showing his, like, magic uh, as, like, special effects so that they can give views and income and all that. And it is just chef's kiss the way they do it. And the uncle has this uh, power that can, like, take his memories and project them on, like a, uh, like, a, like, a holographic screen, basically, right? It's like a flat screen that's, like, paper thin that you can, like, look at, and it projects his memories, right? So it's, like, in a third-person view, or not third-person, a first-person view of his memories and what happens. Uh, but he can, like, change the, like, zoom on it, so he can, like, zoom out to give him, like, a third-person view or whatever. It's very interesting. And so it goes about his various time in there as he talks about various people he met how his experience was all this different stuff it is amazing i honestly did not expect this to be like as cool it was i thought it was just gonna be like this guy who was delusional about being in another world um talking about his delusions while learning about recent history right uh but no it's actually this madman who uh, went to another world, came back, and still has his magic. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. I love it. It is mwah, chef's kiss. But the thing is about the uncle, since he got isekai in like the early 90s, um, he, he references that he watched... Neon Genesis Evangelion. And that's like the one point that we have to uh, like go off of about when he went Isekai, I think. I think, it, I think it's actually said. So I think it's, it's 2018. So I think he got Isekai in like 2001. If I remember correctly. But he does mention Evangelion. <coughs> and the thing with that is since the uncle never really watched a lot of anime, or it wasn't like the, the boon, the huge boon of anime tropes and stuff like that, um, 
He doesn't like understand the various things that's happening in the isekai world. Like there's a Sundere girl, but he does not know that she's Sundere. She just assumes she's a a mean like lady. Um, and all this other stuff that happens over there. It is it is great. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, honestly, I did not expect this one to be this good. But so far, it's, it's definitely, like, up there. Uh, maybe around number five for the, uh, the anime season this, this far. It's, it's definitely one of the good ones that I, uh, I would recommend you all watch. So check it out. Let me know what you think yourselves, if uh, you like it, if you like the premise of it. And while most of it does take place in the modern world, the little snippets of, like, the, uh, the Isekai world are just hilarious when you add them together. Um, it's beautiful. Let me know what you think. Anyway, that's all for this one, everyone. So thank you all for listening. And until next time, I'll catch you later. Bye for now.